Hi guys, in this quick tutorial I'll show you how to create a car transform effect easily in After Effects using Higgsfield AI, completely for free. Let's get started. To create this effect, scroll to the very end of your clip and save the last frame as an image. You can do this by using the FX Console plugin to take a screenshot of the frame. If you don't have FX Console installed, go to the Composition menu, choose Save Frame As, then select File or Photoshop Layers, and save the frame as a PNG or JPEG image. Once that's done and you have the image ready, go to the Higgsfield website. Navigate to Video and select Create Video. Under Create Video, click Change, switch to Commercial, and choose Exploded View. Next click Upload Image and upload the frame you just saved from your video. Now switch the model to Minimax Haluo and select version 2.3. If you want faster processing, choose Fast. Change the resolution to 1080p, then click Generate and wait for the process to finish. It usually takes up to 5 minutes. Also note that you need to be registered on Higgsfield to generate one video per day. To generate two or more videos, you'll need to purchase one of their plans. Once the generation is complete, click the Download button. After it finishes downloading, drag and drop the generated video into your After Effects timeline. Make sure to place it right after your original clip, then preview the result. It looks great. For better results, as mentioned earlier, avoid using the fast option. If you have more credits available, try generating at least 5 versions and choose the one you're happiest with. The generated video is 6 seconds long, which isn't ideal for a speed ramp edit. To fix this, enable time remapping on the generated clip and create a speed ramp to shorten it to around 1 second, or whatever feels best. I'll move forward 1 second on the timeline and then drag the last time remap keyframe to that point to speed up the entire clip. Next trim and delete the remaining part of the layer. Select both keyframes and press F9 to apply easy ease. Then open the graph editor, right click inside, choose edit value graph, and create a smooth curve. Let's quickly preview the result. That looks much better. To improve the transition between the original clip and the transformation effect, we can add a shake effect. I'll be using one from the AM Film Shakes pack, which you can find linked in the video description. I've also created several shake tutorials if you'd like to explore different styles. Let's preview the clip with the shake applied, and we are done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.